expecting answers, the video blog that answers all your questions about surrogacy, egg donation, and so on. I'm Ronin Ghani, and today I'm here with Elsa Hanzo, who's been a surrogate twice already, and she's actually thinking about doing it again. Elsa, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you for having me. We already shared your story in our blog, and we know that you had two completely different journeys, but how is it possible to do it once, twice, and to think about it again? Well, the second time, my intended parents were just so amazing, and people say to me, really, a third? Are you sure? Why? And I'm like, I, I just... I have to, you know, I didn't think on it, but I'm like, I have to do this for them. Like this, this is what I do for them, you know, and yeah, they could find another surrogate. I'm sure just it'd be fine, but it's like our bond is so special that it's just really, truly, it's, I don't think it's um very common of a bond. Yeah. So it's really unique and really special and I just I can't tell them no I just can't we're actually going to travel this May and visit them in Europe yeah we my husband and I we were going to go for 10 days they think that it's important that we see how they live you know how they live and meet their families and just kind of like what they did when they stayed with us that's why I can't not say no Elsa, we just spoke uh, the other day about surrogates and how people imagine surrogates. Some people think that um, surrogates are women who are independently on, on money and that the reason that they're doing it is because of money. And, and I really wanted them to see you because you're the face of surrogacy. You know, that is one of the big things for me is you do not... You do not do surrogacy for money. Nobody does. Nobody that is a surrogate does it for the money. Sometimes maybe it is a business transaction for them. You know, you never know. You don't know. Is this, you have to find out with your IPs, like what kind of relationship do you want or do they want? And it's like, but I know as a surrogate, I'm not going in to be a surrogate as for just the money. Because that's, you know, that's, just not something you do. You do it because you want to do it. You do it because you want to help those families and you want to help them bring a baby into the world. Part of the problem, Ronnie, is people not being educated on yeah. the matter, you know? Right. right. So they just think that, oh, like you're doing this for this much money. And I see it I see it all over social media. I see it on TikTok. I see it on Instagram. And just people having these totally wrong views about surrogates and why they do it and what they do and what goes into it. And we need to change that, right? Completely. That's the reason I really felt like you should be in this video blog because I think that you're the best face of surrogacy that anyone can ever imagine. Like you have this huge smile on your face and you had some difficulties in the last pregnancy, but still you're smiling and you're positive and you're saying, okay, I had diabetes, but again, I didn't lose weight. So you always see the bright side of things, which I really love. And you know, that's funny you say that because I had just talked with my IPs um, around New Year's and we were just kind of talking about the year and, you know, and they were like, it was really hard for you. And I'm like, it was, but it's like one of those things, like when you're going through it, Yes, it's hard in the moment and, you know, but then as you look back on it, you're like, I would do it again. You know, I would do it all over again. So if you have the stage to speak with women whose age are 22 to 40 and they're a U.S. citizen and they already have a baby and they're pretty healthy and they don't smoke, what would be your message to them? Because I know that many women don't even know that they can become surrogates. Right. I would say try and what why not I guess is what I would say and I know that's kind of a loaded question because it comes with like well my husband or my spouse or whatever doesn't want me to do it and I, I get that a lot I do I get that a lot and like I said in my article that's a huge you know part of it is to have that support and 
My husband's very supportive, but you know, it's like, I know it, it's a lot being a surrogate and like, you know, you're putting your body out there and there are risks, of course, but there's risks with anything, you know, and it's just kind of one of those things like if you have smooth pregnancies and, you know, you just, why not? Why not see if you can do it and see if you qualify and try it? Honestly, it has been the best thing I've ever done with my life. Truly, it has. And I'm not just saying that because I would have never met Either of my IPs. I would have never traveled the world like I am going to experience. Other IPs in the U.S., like even going to see them as much as I did. I would have never got that experience. I would have never, yeah. And then when you have the baby and you see it, like you, it's a full circle moment, right? It's just full circle. It all comes together. And you're like, wow, like I did that. Like, I got to help them do that like it's just really inexplainable but I would say think about it like all the people I've met all their families like I've met their families I you know I will meet my IP's families and learn about them like it's just so cool and interesting I will say the first time that I did this I kind of had some weird feelings with as a mom that I wasn't into her more, you know, like that I didn't want to hold her, that I didn't, well, I did, you know what I mean? Like I didn't want to mother her, right? But then it passed real quick. And then, yeah, and then with the next one, I had no, no feelings like that again. And you just, you prep for it through the whole, like you go into it knowing, okay, this is not, so yeah, so people, when they ask those questions, you know, I just kind of like, I'll, I'll explain it a little bit. But then again, it comes with just not being educated. And that's okay. Like, I'd rather them ask questions than just assuming. So thank you so much for helping us yeah. educate other that's women. Awesome. If you have any questions to Elsa, so please write to us. And we will make sure she'll answer all of your burning questions on surrogacy. Elsa, thank you so much for joining us at Expecting Answers. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ronnie.